viewers welcome back to alphos e learning classes myself sheila reddy here to continue my ninth standard social studies and today i am going to deal with the fourth lesson that is atmosphere before going to say to you about atmosphere let me say about the natural realms let me recollect that to you once again earth is divided into four natural realms realms are nothing but which do possess common features common features will be there in every realm so they are four in number that is first one is lithosphere you have completed that hydrosphere that also you might have saw the video up to now now this is third one is atmosphere and the next one is biosphere atmosphere the word atmosphere is derived from the two greek words two greek words it is divided into that is atmos and sphera the word atmosphere is divided from the two greek words atmos means vapor sphera means sphere or ball that means atmosphere means a layer of gases a layer of gases so in this session i am going to explain to you about the importance of atmosphere characteristic features of atmosphere and the composition of atmosphere right now come to the topic first is importance of atmosphere what is the role played by atmosphere on human beings that what are the importance played by it when we come to take it it is a layer of gases that is as you know that earth took so many billions of years to form to the present scenario after the formation of the earth that is crust mantle core and the layer everything when it was formed out after some years because of the hard work of the nature atmosphere formed on the that is surrounded the earth it was came into existence with the formation of the atmosphere only life began on the earth first as i said earlier in the oceans then slowly and steadily started out so this atmosphere it consists of several gases as you know oxygen or uh, what is that argon neon nitrogen carbon dioxide like that many gases are there right oxygen all of you know the importance of oxygen it is called as a breath of life without oxygen there is no life on the earth you know the reasons why life is existing only on our planet means one is oxygen and next is water because of this two only life is present on the earth so this oxygen this is present in the atmosphere it is called as breath of life so we the human beings will inhale this oxygen we will inhale this oxygen and we will exhale out carbon dioxide we will exhale carbon dioxide then what the plants will do plants will intake carbon dioxide plants will take carbon dioxide they will take some water some sunlight with all this they will do photosynthesis process you read in your substandard classes plants will take carbon dioxide from us then water air that is sunlight and uh, through the photosynthesis process plants will produce different varieties of the food products and we the people will intake that food products and that only gives us very good energy that is uh, in the form of vitamins or minerals or carbohydrates that is energy will be generated they are the primary producers they give us food because of atmosphere only it is possible then when you come to know about ozone one of the important gas which is present ozone all of you know that the sun emits out ultraviolet rays they are dangerous if that ultraviolet rays will fall on us directly on us directly it leads to different varieties of the skin cancers in the human beings so ozone layer is protecting us from the sun's ultraviolet rays okay then this atmosphere it is only responsible for the rainfall it is only responsible for the formation of varieties of soil take for example as you know that atmospheric winds the atmospheric winds they will carry the water from the oceans on to the land from the oceans over to the land that is moisture laden winds commonly we will call as rain bearing clouds that is because of atmospheric winds only atmospheric winds only water will be transformed from the oceans over to the land in the form of clouds rain bearing winds and that results uh, in the form of precipitation called as either it may be rainfall snowfall hailstone etc etc 
that rainfall it plays a dominant role in the production of crops and it also very important for the supply of water to us the same atmospheric winds same atmospheric winds they will erode out the material from one place and deposit in some another place because of the pressure of this atmospheric winds only that is uh, weathering process you read weathering process that is disintegration of the big big rocks into small particles is called as a weathering process i have explained in my previous lesson because of that weathering process it has been done by the wind action atmospheric wind action that is so the rock particles will be transformed into fine soil particles and you know the importance of soil very well because of that only plants will be there production will be there food is there and with that we will get energy and we are lively on this earth so what is the importance of atmosphere means you have to write first the layer of gases or earth is surrounded by a layer of gases called as atmosphere it consists of oxygen ozone nitrogen carbon dioxide etc importance of atmosphere Atma with the from the atmosphere only oxygen is supplied to us. Oxygen is called as breath of life because of that life is present on the earth. Right next, ozone. Ozone is the layer which is protecting us from the sun's ultraviolet rays because if that rays will fall on us, it leads to different type of cancer diseases in the human beings. we the people after intaking oxygen we will exhale out carbon dioxide and plants will take that carbon dioxide plants carbon they take carbon dioxide they will collect water and sunlight through this they will do a process called as photosynthesis through this process plants will produce the products that is food products they are primary producers and that food we will intake and we will get energy because of that only we will be lively right then atmospheric winds they are responsible for rainfall they will carry the moisture laden winds over the oceans over to the land with that there will be a rainfall on the land and that in turn results to our water and also they are responsible for the agricultural production next atmospheric winds only responsible for the erosion and deposition of material from one place to another place that atmospheric winds only turns the rock particles into fine soil particles and soil is very important in the production and in our life also so this is the importance of atmosphere first you have to write definition then you have to write all these points in an order next topic is characteristics of atmosphere Uh, some uh, scientists will describe it as a sea of gases atmosphere is a sea of gases and we the people are swimming in that like uh, animals that is water animals will swim out in the seas no in the same style uh, some scientists will say will describe atmosphere as a sea of gases and we the human beings are swimming in that okay according to nasa national aeronautic space administration national aeronautic space administration the uh, research institute of united states of america it says that the thickness the thickness of this atmosphere is 1000 km okay right so this 1000 km atmosphere is responsible for the life on the earth this atmosphere it consists of completely all the varieties of gases that's why it do possess the properties of gas only as all of you know that gas don't have any shape in whatever it will be filled out it took that particular shape only so what do this atmosphere gases consists of its composition is oxygen 21% oxygen that is characteristics if you take out what is the composition if you take out oxygen 21% oxygen when you take nitrogen it is 78 percentage water vapor if you take 0.03 percentage not water vapor this is carbon dioxide co2 and water vapor if you take 0.04 percent this is a composition of atmosphere that is 21 percent of oxygen 78 percent of nitrogen 0.03 percent of carbon dioxide 0.04 percent of the water vapor is present this is a composition of atmosphere here you should know about this water vapor specifically 
see this little amount 0.04 percent of the water vapor it is responsible for the rainfall on the earth that is it is responsible for the precipitation and condensation forms do you know the role of water vapor what is water vapor means the word humidity indicates the presence of water in the form of vapor in the atmosphere that is in the form of vapor it will be it plays a great role in the precipitation process if the relative humidity this uh, water vapor this is humidity will be expressed in the form of relative humidity this water vapor it plays a dominant role that is if the relative humidity is 100 percent if the relative humidity is 100 percent in the atmosphere it leads to it leads to too much suffocating that is under such circumstances even though the temperature is less 30 32 degrees like that only but we feel more suffocation why because our skin will not observe the sweat we will feel sultry sticky suffocating weather if the relative humidity if the relative humidity is less very less then obviously we will face the problem of chapped cracked lips and uh, this cracked skin sore throat dry skin these problems we will face right so this 0.04 percent this little amount of water paper also plays an important role in our life it is expressed in relative humidity if it is high we will feel suffocating if it is low also we will face the problem of chapped lips cracked skin sore throat etc etc and uh, other than this gases also atmosphere do possess particulates what are these particulates means the fine dust particles the fine dust particles that are present in the atmosphere they were called as particulates from where do these particulates will come through natural process through human made by by the human beings and by nature also from take for example if the forest will set out will get out any fire with that dust will raise out particles will raised out and we the people also if we drill out any petrol that is oil wells from that also dust will be evolved out that is that fine dust particles which are released into the atmosphere are called as particulates do you know this particulates also play an important role in our life they do have positive and negative impacts what are the benefits from the particulates means this dust this fine dust particles which are raised out into higher layers of atmosphere they will give very beautiful color to the sunrise and sunset in the morning and the evening you might have observed that it will be in orange color very beautiful color it will be that is because of the presence of particulates what are particulates here the fine dust particles that are present in the atmosphere are called as particulates they do have their own positive and negative impacts what are the positive impacts means these particulates will give very beautiful color to the sunrise and sunset and they will help in the rainfall also and get, getting hailstones hailstones also right when we come to the demerits or negative impacts of these particulates what are the negative impacts means because of this dust and smoke we the people will feel very problematic in breathing out that is they create problem in the human beings that is breathing problem and even this dust particles will stick on to the leaves plant leaves also in plants also they create some hazard in breathing process that are the negative process that is these particulates in negative impacts are they will create breathing problem in human beings and breathing problem in the plants so if characteristics of atmosphere is asked what do you have to write atmosphere is a sea of gases we the people are swimming in that according to the nasa the thickness of atmosphere is 1000 kilometers it is exclusively composed of layer of gases so it exhibits all the features of gases only the composition of atmosphere is oxygen 21 percentage nitrogen 78 percentage co2 0.03 percentage and water vapor 0.04 percentage other than this atmosphere also consists of fine dust particles called as particulates like that you have to write about characteristics if exclusively particulates they ask first you write definition the fine dust particles that are present in the atmosphere are called as particulates benefits they will give very beautiful color to the nature that is sunrise and sunset 
and they will help in the precipitation that is in rainfall and hailstones. Next, negative. They will create problem in the breathing problem in human beings and breathing problem in the plants. If they ask about exclusively about water vapor, what is the role of water vapor? Then you have to write, the word humidity indicates presence of water in the form of vapor in atmosphere. The amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere is called as atmospheric humidity. So, this is expressed in relative humidity. If the relative humidity is 100% at saturated point, then we will face the problem of suffocation, high sweat, sultry weather, sticky. If it is below, if it is very less, if it is very less, then we will face the problem of dry skin, cracked lips, sore throat, etc. Like that you have to write about this. Right. Next, this is the important topic. In long answers, it is going to be important. Atmosphere. In my, uh, if you do remember, if I am right, I have explained to you about layers of earth. I have explained to you. In the same style, atmosphere do also consist of layers. Layers. Atmosphere is divided into two important layers. Homosphere, heterosphere. On what basis they were divided? On the basis of composition of gases. You have to write this. On the basis of composition of gases, atmosphere is divided into two main layers, homosphere and heterosphere. Homosphere. Why it is called homosphere? Because of the homogeneous nation, homogeneous nature of that layer, that is it consists of homogeneous nature of gases like oxygen, nitrogen, organ, carbon dioxide it consists of homogeneous nature. That's why that layer is called as homosphere, homosphere. It extends up to 90 kilometers, okay. It is divided into three layers, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere. First let me say about troposphere. Troposphere means it is the innermost layer of the atmosphere that is from on where we are, we are, this is troposphere, okay, on where we are that is called a troposphere. The lowermost layer of the atmosphere is called as troposphere. The average height of troposphere is 13 kilometers, 13 kilometers from the ground to 13 kilometers it exists. Do you know at poles it will be 8 kilometers, at equator it will be 18 kilometers. But average, average of the troposphere is it extends up to 13 kilometers. That is the first point you should remember. And 75 percent of the entire gases are present in this troposphere only. 75 percent. 99 percent of the water vapor present in this troposphere only. Weather and the climatic phenomenon will take place in the troposphere. That is condensation, evaporation, precipitation, rainfall, everything takes place in this troposphere only. And life is present in this troposphere only. Do you know when we go, when we go up into higher altitudes, that is as we move from the ground to higher altitudes in this troposphere, the temperature goes on decreasing, the temperature goes on decreasing. That is for every thousand meters if you are going up, for every thousand meters if you are going up, temperature decreases at a rate of 6.4 degrees Celsius, 6.4 degrees Celsius. This decrease in the temperature is called as normal lapse rate, okay. What is troposphere? It is the lowermost layer of the atmosphere. It is 8 kilometers at the poles, it is 18 kilometers at the equator. The average height of this troposphere is 13 kilometers. 75 percent of the atmospheric gases are present in this layer only. 99 percent of the water vapor is present in this layer only. Weather and climatic conditions will take place in this layer only. Life is present in this layer only and as we go up temperature goes on decreasing. These are the characteristic features of troposphere. Okay. Then trap stratosphere. Stratosphere. The layer above the troposphere. The layer above the troposphere is called as stratosphere. This stratosphere it extends up to 50 kilometers. 50, 50 kilometers it extends up to. What is the speci specification of this stratosphere means? It is cloud free zone. Clouds will not be present here. 
so it will be helpful for the jet planes to fly jet planes will fly because clouds are absent they are associated with phenomena clouds are absent so jet planes can fly in this layer very safely right one more specification is ozone is present very good ozone layer is present here this ozone what it will do when it it observes the harmful rays from the sun that's why what will happen it heats up atmosphere here it heats up atmosphere because of this reason only here in this stratosphere as we go up temperature also decrease increases what i said here in troposphere as we move into higher altitudes temperature goes on decreasing at what rate i said 6.4 degree celsius take for example the room in which i am standing out here temperature is 40 degree celsius i have moved up to 1000 meters at that height temperature 40 degrees minus you may got 6.4 degrees or 6 i will make out for my convenience right then after 1000 meters temperature will be 34 degrees then after 1000 degrees 34 minus 6 28 degrees like that it goes on decreasing in troposphere but it is not so in stratosphere as we go up temperature also increases what is the reason for this this ozone layer it absorbs the harmful radiation from the sun that's why it, it emits out it uh, heats up the atmosphere because of that reason heat is generated there okay the layer above the troposphere is called as a stratosphere it extends up to a height of 50 kilometers the speciality is it is a cloud free zone it helps the jet planes to fly in this zone ozone is present here the temperature increases as we move to higher altitudes next is mesosphere the layer above stratosphere is called as mesosphere it extends up to a height of 80 kilometers it extends okay it extends up to a height of 80 kilometers so here the specification is from the space from the space meteorites meteorites means small stone like structures from the space will come when they enter into this mesosphere they will blast out because when they come into contact with the atmosphere obviously heat will be generated and they will blast out that will take place in the mesosphere okay right and the next coming to next sphere is heterosphere the layer which extends up to 400 kilometers that is called as heterosphere and because of the heterogeneous nature of the gases because of heterogeneous different varieties because of the heterogeneous nature of the gases this layer is called as heterosphere it is divided into two thermosphere exosphere thermosphere exosphere thermosphere this layer after mesosphere this will be it extends up to 400 kilometers 400 kilometers it extends another name of this thermosphere is ionosphere also ionosphere because the electronically charged particles called as ions are present here that's why it is called as ionosphere the specification of this thermosphere is earth will give sent the radio waves no this thermosphere it reflects back the radio waves back to the earth that is a specification what is thermosphere means the layer which extends up to 400 kilometers is called as thermosphere it consists of electrically charged ions that's why it is also called as ionosphere and it reflects the radio waves back to the earth which is sent by the earth right the next one is exosphere the layer above the exos this is thermosphere is called as exosphere as it is above 400 kilometers we don't have very good idea about this exosphere right in brief about the composition of atmosphere means first you have to write atmosphere side heading the layer of the gases is called as the layer of the gases that is surrounding the earth called as atmosphere it is divided into two main layers homosphere heterosphere first to keep the side heading homosphere because of the heterogeneous nature of the gases like oxygen argon nitrogen carbon dioxide this is called as homosphere it is divided into three layers troposphere stratosphere mesosphere then keeps troposphere side heading it is a lowermost layer of atmosphere 
the average height is 13 kilometers 75 percent of gases are present here 99 percent of the water vapor present here weather and climatic phenomenon will take place here as we move up into higher layers temperature goes on decreasing life is present in this troposphere this you have to write stratosphere the layer above the troposphere is called as stratosphere first point it extends up to a height of 50 kilometers okay right then it is cloud free zone it helps in the jet planes to move ozone layer is present here and this ozone as it is remitting out that what is that radiation as it is receiving out radiated harmful rays from the sun that's why what it will do it will heat up the atmosphere because of that reason as we go up in the stratosphere temperature also goes on increasing mesosphere the layer above the stratosphere is called as mesosphere it extends up to a height of 80 kilometers meteorites meteorites means the stones from the outer space called as meteorites when this meteorites will come come into contact with the atmosphere here it will burn out because of the generation of heat next heterosphere next important layer because of the heterogeneous composition of the layer this is called as heterosphere it is divided into thermosphere and exosphere in thermosphere side heading the layer which extends up to 400 kilometers is called as thermosphere it consists of the electrically charged particles called as ions that's why it is called ionosphere earth send radio waves so this layer will reflect back that radio waves back to the earth exosphere the layer above 400 kilometers of this that is the layer above this thermosphere is called as exosphere and as it is at that height scientists don't have very good information about this exosphere this is about for the session in my next session i will explain to you about the pressure wells thank you